Let's bring in Dub Hyken, former New York State Assemblyman and founder of Americans Against Anti-Semitism. Dub, great to see you this morning, as always. Uh, I understand that you were just in Israel. The president is heading there right now. What do you think is at stake during this trip? The president is going to be meeting with both the leaders of Israel and Palestine. Look, I think, uh, first of all, good morning and thanks for having me. Look, uh, the Democratic Party, President Biden, they are absolutely desperate. They are in trouble. And they believe that this trip is going to help them politically. I mean, it's just incredible on the part of the president uh, how disingenuous it is. But this is not about energy. This is not about oil. You know, he's not going to Saudi Arabia to talk to the prince. I mean, the prince is the one who runs Saudi Arabia. I mean, come on, just be straight, President Biden. And we get it. We understand. You want the prices of energy to come down further. And you insulted the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You insulted the people. You insulted the leaders, calling them a pariah state. You know, uh, you were flippant. Uh, you know, your mouth was running, and you insulted the people of Saudi Arabia. So, you know, he's trying, uh, uh, you know, to, to help the Democratic Party. That's what it's really, really all about. You know, he talks about uh, creating a better relationship between Saudi Arabia uh, and Israel. Uh, everyone knows that Saudi Arabia and Israel have a relationship. They have common interests. So, you know, the, you know, there's not much the president is going to do. I think, I think what President Biden has to do is say, Thank you to President Trump for what he did in terms of the Abraham Accords. I mean, the shameful thing is that this president, over the past 18 months, did not continue with the amazing uh, victories of the Trump administration in terms of bringing Israel and a number of Arab countries closer together. Why nothing has happened over the past 18 months is really very a sad commentary on this disastrous administration. Mm. Yeah, a lot of eyes will be on a number of topics from the leadership in Israel, oil, like you mentioned, the relationship with the Saudis, like you mentioned, human rights, and of course, the Iran nuclear deal. A lot of topics to be addressed. Meantime, while we have you here, anti-Semitic attacks across the U.S. reaching record highs last year. Look at these numbers. According to the Anti-Defamation League, there were coincided with the rise in the squad and their anti-Israel rhetoric. Take a listen. Palestinians aren't going anywhere, no matter how much money you send to Israel's apartheid government. This is not a civil war. It is a conflict where one country, funded and supported by the United States government, continues an illegal military occupation. We are bearing witness to egregious human rights violations. This is not about both sides. This is about an imbalance of power. Dov, is that a coincidence or something more? No, it's not a coincidence. AOC, Tlaib, Omar, Cory Bush, and the rest of that radical so-called progressive group, they have contributed towards the unprecedented hate, physical assaults upon the Jewish people. What is going on in this country, let's get this very, very clear. This has never happened in the history of this country. The numbers do not lie. And let me tell you the fascinating thing, a report that we're coming out with next week. This is the real story. You can beat up on Jews. You can attack Jews. And nothing will happen to you, the anti-Semite. There are no consequences for hate, for attacking the Jewish people. It is a sad commentary. And I wish to God the president of the United States would address that issue. He hasn't said very much about that. You attack Jews, nothing happens. No penalties. You don't end up in jail. No repercussions. That is a fact. We are going to show those details in a report that we're releasing next week. Yeah, I, understand, I completely understand your anger over this at a time when we hear focus so much on equity. You don't really hear a lot about the um, attacks against the Jewish community, and that is a that is a really big problem. Uh, going back to the president's agenda, um, he is going to be traveling to Saudi Arabia, like you said, later this week. And um, some Democrats say that that's not the right move because of Saudi Arabia's human rights abuses. Some conservatives say it is because you can use Saudi Arabia um, and their relationship with Israel as a way to sort of buffer Iran. How do you see it? 
Well, I mean, I mean, it, this one is so simple. You know, people in the Democratic Party, you know, some of the positions they take, I mean, where are they living? On the moon? They're not living here on Earth, okay? I mean, the reality is, you know, you know, abuses in Saudi Arabia, hey, America had no problem dealing with China, dealing with Russia, dealing with many other countries that are involved in abuse uh, for decades. We deal with them. We trade. We make investments. It's okay. The hypocrisy. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a Democrat, but the hypocrisy of the Democratic Party is so pathetic. It is such a sad commentary what has happened to my party. The double standard, the hypocrisy, as you said before, by the way, only Jews are expendable. Only Jews can you attack and nothing happens. Silence in the Democratic Party, all the Schumers and the Nadlers and the Schiffs, where in God's name are they to stand up when Jews are being attacked in the streets of New York and in the streets of our country being assaulted? This is America, for God's sake. And there's only one way to treat those who perpetrate crimes. They have to pay a penalty. And the fact is, no penalty, nothing. That is a fact of life. No one talks about this. You know, the ADL tells us about the number of attacks upon Jews, but no one follows, right. you know, the story to the end. Right. What happened to the guy who beat up the Jew? What happened? Nothing. And that's sick. And that's sad. Dov Heike, we appreciate your time and your insight you as so always much, on Dov. these topics. So, so important. Thanks for uh, having me. me